Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Presta Angelisa Septiani, and now I will present my work in making a padlet. Okay, so the topic of my padlet today is conjunction. So for the first one, I make a recording uh, of grading and opening to uh, open my class. So uh, let's open and hear this recording together. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello students, how are you? I hope you're still in a good conditions, yeah? Okay, so today we are going to discuss conjunction. I have given you some summary of the functions of conjunction and how you can use those conjunctions. Uh, it is followed by clause or phrase or etc. like that. And you read it, you understand it, and don't forget to write down on your notebook, yeah? And also, I have provided a PowerPoint of this topic so you can download it and understand it also. Okay, you can get more understanding about conjunctions in YouTube video. I have shared the link here. And after you understand about it, you must do exercises that I have given here by write down your answers in the comment column. I will wait for your answers, yeah? Okay, so happy learning. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so after the... Uh, students hearing this uh, record uh, recorder so the next one the students must uh, read this one and also understanding about this one conjunction and I have uh, written five functions of conjunctions here and then uh, all the points will be explained here this is for uh, the first point so uh, the conjunction is for additional information there are moreover in addition furthermore besides and also as well and then continue with the second uh, function of conjunction that is for stating contrast sentence so uh, the kind of conjunctions is although though even though and these conjunctions must be followed by close subject plus verb and then also they are despite, in spite of, and these conjunctions must be followed by phrase. And then for the examples, the students can uh, looking for the differences about although, uh, the use of although, and also despite. For example, the first one, although the rain is hard. It's, it's mean that although is followed by uh, close up because the rain is hard is a close right okay so the second one despite despite uh, the hard rain it means that despite must be followed by a phrase because the the hard rain is a phrase right okay so uh, let's be continue with the third point that is conjunction for stating contrast paragraph so the kind of conjunctions which is used here are however but still yet nevertheless on the other hand and maybe etc okay next to the fourth conjunction conjunction for stating cause like as since for because and those all uh, must be followed by clause and then they are also because of due to it has uh, the same meaning right and these conjunctions must be followed by the phrase. And for the examples, the students also must uh, understand about the differences of this kind. And then the first one, uh, because the girl is smart, she can do the task. And then the second one, due to the smart girl, I can get away from the dangerous place. Okay, so the student must uh, knowing because is must uh, must followed by uh, the girl must followed by uh, closer, and then due to must be followed by a phrase. Okay. Okay, the next point. Or the last point is conjunction for stating effect. There are therefore, so, consequently, those, hands, and such. And then the not is so is followed by adjective 
or adverb uh, that such a known phrase plus that for example she is so beautiful that he loves her and then the second one she sings so beautifully that he loves her and then the third one she is such a beautiful girl that he loves her the first one the students must know that so is followed by beautiful and then followed again by that and then the second one so must be followed by uh, adjective because it's explained a verb sings is a verb and then followed by that and then a beautiful girl is a noun phrase because it's used in conjunction such and then it's followed by that okay so here i also uh, has uh, have uh, provided a PowerPoint so the students can open it and download it okay for increasing their knowledge and also uh, I also provide uh, the link for conjunction and the students also can open it and understand more in it okay and then the next one is exercises the students, after understanding uh, the material above, the students must do the exercises. So this is uh, the exercise that the students must do. Okay, like this. Okay, so the students must answer the exercise by writing down the answers here in the comment column. What is the comment column? Okay, okay, that's all. Thank you.